Hello, my name is Tim Downey. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer. In a previous post, I demonstrated the manual management as well as the automated management of a single order load shipment wave relationship. This was to demonstrate the relationships between those key concepts of the load shipment and wave. We're going to take that one step further and take multiple sales orders and combine them into a single shipment in a single wave. So imagine, if you will, a customer creates several sales orders throughout the day, and rather than picking them individually, one by one, creating a shipment picking list for each order, we wait till the end of the day and consolidate those to a single shipment. So to make this possible, we need to confirm some parameters are set up properly in the loads portion of the warehouse management parameters. We want to have no automatic creation of loads. So all these parameters will be set to no, and then all of the wave template parameters will be set to yes for automatic wave creation and no for processing and releasing waves automatically. We could have the automatic wave creation set to no, but we're going to allow the wave to be created. We can still combine our shipments if the wave is created, but if the wave has not been released or processed, then no work has been created. And if no work has been created, we can combine. However, if work has been created, just simply cancel that work and then you can consolidate the shipment. Now that our parameters and configurations are set up correctly, let's go to shipments where we will see the shipments created for two previously created sales orders. I created sales orders 792 and 793, each for the same customer. You'll notice that shipments 15 and 16 reflect order 792 and order 793. So to consolidate these, I just want to select either of them and select consolidated shipments and this will give me a list of all shipments that are eligible to consolidate with the original shipment selected in the previous screen. To be eligible the destination and the ship date need to be the same. So I'm going to just click OK to consolidate shipment 15 and now we'll see shipment 16 exists. 15 is no longer there but 16 now contains the order numbers of 792 and 793. And because we elected to not have an automatic load creation at the sales order, we will transfer our shipment to a new load, and we simply have to select a load template ID which represents the container which the shipment will be shipped in. Now we can see that our shipment ID 16 is part of load 15 and has a wave of 22. The wave has been created, but no work has been created because the wave has not been processed or released. Upon processing the wave, which we do by just clicking process, you'll notice that the work will be activated. Now work has been created. A pick list can be printed, but it cannot be picked. The wave status is at held at this point. Picking lists can be printed but cannot be picked. If a warehouse worker was to work one of those pick lists upon entry into the mobile device application, it would not work. It would be an error. But now to fix that, all I would have to do is release the order. Now the work is not only created, but it's released and ready to be picked. If we take a look at the work, we'll notice that we've got a pick and a put for each line on the pick list. And so the work would be completed by the warehouse worker using the mobile app. The shipment would then be confirmed and all required paperwork like bills of ladings or packing slips would be printed and the shipment would be off to the customer. So to summarize this manual process of shipment consolidation, while the automated features might lead to a more efficient process, it's important to understand the manual function before you can automate them. We all learned to walk before we can run.